Figured out why Ivan sends all those individual ones. Why? I today answered her reply to a Masana email with a multi-part thing with lots of screenshots. And they all. And when it went into Asana, it was really hard to follow. Uh, I'd like to go into Asana with you and go into this the spreadsheet. I I need. I want to go into a sauna, uh -huh. and then I want to go into that Google Sheet, uh -huh. and I want it organized. Next steps, clarity, dates. I don't have to do that today, yes, right? you do. No, I don't. Uh, then I'll fuck it up. Then don't do it. No. Everything is. We're working fine. Yeah, you thought you were working fine with one click. No, I mean, I've seen the You thought you were working day. fine with list track. I can you show don't you. understand how to work I fine. I can show you the progress. And the pages I'm working on. I, I'm not concerned about those pages. I'm concerned about the ones you, Brittany. Yes. Exactly. But those aren't in a sauna. Well, they need to be. I mean, come you on. You can't Why are you... Until out properly. Okay, to Laura. Do things. I desperately need your help. Okay, I can show you. I desperately need your where help. Where things stand. Uh, how I'm working with them. Good. How I'm getting things done. I'm. I'm not worried about your things. I know. I'm worried about. And I have it on my list in my pile for you. Today is. Let's we're going to spec out the homepage. And I'm okay. Send them in the way I've been sending information. Good. So that it'll get built. Because I think there's pieces to it that you're not contemplating. I'm sure there are. And that's where I need you and to get. Okay, all right, let's not talk about it. But when we get back, I, I need to make sure that there's clarity. Because honestly, your credibility, given. Well, I, it's true. List track, oh, everything's fine. Leave them alone. One click, oh, we're we're doing great. No, list track, we talk about No, not not that, not to the degree, and not early. Well, I knew earlier, and I know early now. Go, go. Ah. All right, will you help her? Okay. That's, that's it? All, that's all there is. Remind me in 
one hour to see if Johnny Jet will allow us to have one article in all his yeah. newsletters. Lar, lar, lar! Suzy! Suzy, touch hard! Hard! Shock hard! Just keep pressing it. On a shock level, Lar. You should be. Are you pressing? Okay, on shock or, or, or vibrate? What level? You're at highest shock. Holding down. Ho holding down. All right, stop now. If that's the case, she's not going to. Can you please describe to me exactly what you were doing? And on seven. You held shock. And she, she ran through shock. That's weird. What would you have done differently? It's easy to have that. I don't know. No. We saw at the moment. We're to stop these loggers and these miners and these farmers from reaching deeper and deeper into the Amazon year after year after year. And for a while, Brazil was pretty successful. So all of this outcry leads Brazil to begin regulating and slowing this development. That's right. Another thing the government did was it started issuing some pretty stiff fines for deforestation and other environmental crimes. And, you know, for a while, this had the intended effect. And one of the reasons Brazil was successful in reigning in deforestation during this era is the economy was doing pretty well. So there were plenty of jobs in the city. And people were less tempted to venture deep into the jungle where they faced the However, you know, the good days came to an end, and in 2014, the country plunged into a brutal recession. In the was tens of thousands of men were suddenly unemployed, and many of them were lured back into the church. Why? How much money did they make? These were dangerous jobs, these were risky ventures, but for many people, it was the only way to get food on the street. Hi. Rhonda! Here, I'll get her. She's just noisy. Rhonda, Rhonda. She's just noisy. Hey, hey, hey! Come here. Come on. Sorry about that.
long-standing nationalist view that the Amazon is a Brazilian resource that Brazilians should be tapping into, and any effort to stop that is a globalist intervention, and it will hurt Brazil. That's right, Michael. But he wasn't only angry about environmental fines. He was also very frustrated with indigenous territory. These are territories that now cover about 13 percent of Brazil's land mass. And Mr. Bolsonaro spoke in unusually hostile terms about indigenous people. He essentially said you have the small indigenous communities sitting on land that should be extremely profitable. Bolsonaro starts making these changes across the government and 